So you've been having knee pain for a while now, you've already had an orthopedic consult, and you've made the final decision to go ahead and have a total knee joint replacement. These are the top eight exercises that you should start doing about six to eight weeks prior to having surgery. So the critical things that we need to focus on prior to having a total knee joint replacement surgery are increasing the knee joint range of motion, increasing your leg strength, and improving your flexibility. That way, after surgery, your rehab process will go as smoothly and as easily as possible. You can head on over to pttimewithtim.com to access my full in-depth article on how to prepare for a total knee joint replacement and access the exercise guide. Okay, so our first exercise is called a quad set. Now your quadriceps are your muscles in your thigh here. And in order to do this exercise, you can take a towel roll. So I took a hand towel and you just roll it up, place it underneath your knee, have your toes pointing straight up towards the sky. You're going to push down into the towel. So I'm trying to squish the towel with my knee. So I'm actively squeezing my thigh muscles, driving down into the towel holding for 10 seconds, so I'm getting a really good squeeze of the thigh, holding for 10 seconds, and then relaxing, squeezing, pressing down into the towel for another 10 seconds. So for each repetition, you're holding for that 10 second hold, squeezing your uh, quad muscles, the slide muscles as hard as you can, and you're gonna do that for 10 repetitions. So our next exercise is a supine heel slide. And we're gonna need some kind of strap to do this with. So I really like using this stretching strap. It has little handles all the way down through it, so it's really helpful to use. If you don't have one of these or you don't get one of these, then you can always use like a dog leash and use the loop at the end of the dog leash or just like a, a cargo strap or a piece of rope or something. Place it down around your foot. You can lie on your back. And this exercise is really focusing on that knee range of motion that I spoke of earlier. So you're going to pull your foot as you slide your heel towards you until you get to a point of stiffness, pain, or tightness in the knee, and you're just gonna snug up into it just a little bit so that you kind of overpressure into that stiffness or tightness. Hold there for a few seconds so that you're feeling that stretch, and then slide the heel all the way back out. And then we're just gonna repeat that, really. So each time we bring it up in, we're gonna try to go a little bit more into that stiffness or tightness Again, holding for three to five seconds and then sliding it back out. And we'll do this for 10 or 15 repetitions. So our third exercise is a straight leg raise. Uh, for this exercise, you'll need to lie on your back. You can have your opposite leg bent and then you're gonna have your strengthening leg straight, knee and toes pointing straight up towards the sky. So make sure you don't kind of have it rolled outward. So we're having it straight on, hands on your hips. You're gonna engage your core. So this is really important because you wanna protect your spine, okay? So engage your core, tighten your belly up, hands on your hips, and then lift that straight leg up till it's about parallel to the opposite thigh, pausing there, and then lowering it back down, lifting back up, pausing, just a short pause at the top each time. So this is a straight leg raise exercise, and we're gonna do three sets of 10 of these. Our fourth exercise, is a bridging exercise. So lie on your back, you're going to bend your knees up to whatever position they can go in without causing too much pain in that affected knee that's gonna have surgery. So if you know, you can only get, say I'm having surgery on my left side and right about here I have pain, so I'm gonna back out just a little bit so it's mostly comfortable. I'm gonna match it with my other ones so that they're level, okay? Lie on your back, arms down to your sides, and now with this exercise, with the bridging exercise, you're trying to engage your glutes, all right? So you squeeze your butt, you squeeze your buttock muscles, and you lift up towards the ceiling. And what you're trying to feel here is those glutes engaging, those buttock muscles engaging. What we don't want is for you to feel like you're just arching your back. So you should not feel this in your low back. And if you do struggle uh, squeezing your glutes, which a lot of people actually do, they have a hard time, you can actually put your hands on your glutes as you squeeze so that gives you some external feedback when you can really feel the muscles engaging that just helps with the connection between your brain and the muscles so you're going to do three sets of 10 of these bridges with a slight pause at the top our fifth exercise is going to be a short arc quad and for this exercise i like using a foam roller so if you do have a foam roller place it underneath your knee if you don't have a foam roller just grab 
uh, like a, um, a throw pillow and roll, roll up the throw pillow underneath your knee or like a couple towels, bath towels work really well. So if you take a couple bath towels, roll them up, just get something underneath the knee, gives it a little bit of elevation, which we need. So you'll line up your leg by having your knee and your foot pointing straight up towards the sky. Keep your knee down resting against whatever the object is underneath there and lift your foot up towards the sky. You'll pull your toes towards you, which helps engage all, this, all these anterior chain muscles. That's all the muscles in the front side of the leg. Ideally, we're focusing on the quads again, so those thigh muscles. You're gonna pause at the top, squeezing your thighs, and then back down. Again, lifting up, squeezing the thighs, pausing at the top, and back down. This one will do two sets of 15, so we're going for a few more repetitions on it uh, in each set with less rest in between. So for those of you with severe knee, uh, knee arthritis, you definitely know that your knee creaks a lot, right? You get that kind of grinding sensation in the knee. And so this next exercise is uh, a modification. And so it's a seated knee extension isometric exercise, okay? And so the isometric portion is when you push against something that doesn't move. So you get that muscle engagement, but without moving the joint. So there's no range of motion kind of active movement going on. Okay, so. This one, we're gonna need some kind of loop resistance band, okay? And so I'll, in this description below, I have a, a tag for the one I'm using right now. And basically, you'll sit in a dining room chair or a massage table, kind of like the one I'm using here. Um, anything that you can kind of um, rig up at home to get in this kind of seated position should work just fine. But basically, I took the loop band, I put it around the leg of the table or the leg of the chair if you're using a dining room chair. Put it around your foot. You're sitting upright, keeping your thighs down. So when we do this movement, make sure you don't lift the thigh up off the table. Kick forward just a little bit. So we're kicking out to about 60 to 80 degrees of knee flexion. So I've got a good bend in my knee. And what that'll do, if you have that, that grinding going on in the knee, is basically it limits that sensation in the knee because you're not going out very far. So you shouldn't get a lot of grinding in the knee. We're just kicking out just a little bit. You're gonna feel those thigh muscles engage. And now we're holding this, this exercise for 20 to 30 seconds, okay? So it's a long kind of endurance hold. You should get some burning, that fatigue sensation in the quad muscles, those thigh muscles. Holding 20 to 30 seconds and then relaxing. And now we're gonna do four to five repetitions of this. So it really is that endurance kind of fatigue that you're working on in the thigh muscles. And if you do it correctly and you're not kicking out too far, you really shouldn't have a whole lot of knee pain because we don't want to increase the knee pain in the joint itself. So that's why we're kind of stopping at that 60 to 80, 80 degrees of bend. Our seventh exercise is a seated hamstring curl. So if you don't know, our hamstring muscles are located in the back of your thigh. So for this one, I took a chair and I placed it directly in front of our hutch here. You need something heavy that has a leg on the bottom of it so that you can loop a resistance cord or a resistance band around it. And so a dining room table works really well also. So you take, a, you, you take it around the leg of the chair or the table and then make another loop for your foot. You're going to pull your foot underneath you, so towards you, engaging those hamstring muscles in the back of the thigh, pausing there for a second or two. And you're gonna repeat this for three sets of 10, trying to feel the slow kind of onset of burn in those muscles on the back of the thigh. For our final exercise, we're going to do a mini squat or half squat. So basically you can face a countertop or a chair like I've positioned in front of me here. I have my feet shoulder width apart Using this for just some balance support and, uh, and I can off weight my, uh, my upper body a little bit as we do this. But we're going to sit the hips back behind me. So I'm keeping the knees over my toes here and I'm pretending like I'm kind of tapping my butt uh, on a chair behind me or tapping if there was a wall behind me, I'm kind of tapping my butt against a wall. And I'm only going down far enough that feels okay for the knees because remember that knee that has arthritis you're gonna have some creaking, some grinding, you could have a little bit of pain at a certain point, but we wanna stop just before that point of pain in the knee. So we're really just going through the motion that that knee is allowing us to do it through. 
And so this is a very functional exercise. And so it's going to help us out, build those le um, the leg muscle strength in there. We're going to do three sets of 10 of the mini squat. Please like the video if you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. You'll definitely want to watch my knee strengthening videos next as you continue on your pathway to living a pain-free, active lifestyle. Ew. Hi. <laughs>